Hello guys, this is Angga Rizky and welcome back to my video. So today I'm going to show you about how to create the navbar above in the slider carousel with a bootstrap framework. So we will create the slider and we will create the navbar inside of the slider. Okay. First thing you need to prepare the image. I have prepared the images here. One and two and three. It's only sample. This girl one. It's mine and mine. All right. So we gonna to component bootstrap, and I will use the default of navbar here, and copy, and then. I will create the body first class so it's called header okay inside of header we have the nav like this okay and I will make it clear like this so we can save it first and go back to chrome and I will refresh it's gonna be like this go back to subline I will make the container its standard so we remove the fluid here like this okay it's cool right so the next one we, we need to create the slider here so we go back to components and then back to top where is the top oops and go to javascript because we need the carousel here carousel like this okay and i will copy this carousel and i will paste in the below of the nav bar like this okay we need to make it clean save and we can preview like this I will fix the images first so we go back to subline and then in the images go back to image and image one dot jpeg we can copy and we can paste right here for image two and then yeah I will copy I will copy and change the image to image 3 we can save and then we can preview again so we have the image here wow sexy sexy girl <laughs> it's only sample right and after that I will make the navbar transparent to go uh, above in the slider okay bismillah so in the slider we find the carousel here and then we need to create the new class here my carousel okay we can save and go to style.css and my carousel and then give the margin top min 50 pixel and save and preview okay like this we need the 3 3 pixel again so we go to um, 80 okay see now and go to the navigation here and create new my nav okay sorry my nav new class here so we create the my nav here and then z index for 999 okay and it will be like this and then go to background to zero it's non and the border is zero and the border radius is zero save and preview 
Hmm. Why is not working? Because we got the wrong wrong name here. So we need to uh, add the important here, and you can copy, and then you can paste in the another property like this. Save and preview. Oh uh, no, it's not working properly. Okay, so I remove all of them the property because I got wrong here. I forgot something else. So we gonna to code again the final result like this, and we need to fix them. So we go back to subline, and my knife give the position absolute, and the top is 30 pixel, and then and the width it's 100. And the Z index it shall be 999 like this. Okay, and then in the my carousel, we need to create the position absolute. And then the top is zero because the carousel it shall be over top. Okay, and we can save and preview. And boom, we got like this. Okay but it's worth so i will disable this top okay we need to try to remove the background now save and preview yeah we got the navbar transparent here okay it's cool right and then I will remove the border 0 and the border radius is 0 save and preview again ok it's cool and ok we need to change the color about the menu so we go to my nav and then the name is white navbar nav and go to target the anchor anchor and the color it should be white save and preview now it's not working so we need add the important here save and then preview again it's working properly okay but the problem here okay don't worry we have the drop down so my nav oops my nav and navbar nav and then drop down and then a and the color it shall be black give the important here save and preview okay no 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 wrong class uh drop down menu okay drop down menu save and preview and we click here and boom we got the black color and the uh, above we have the navbar here so we can click here like this okay now another one is brand it's brand for our logo where is brand where is brand here panda pixel and then we can copy this of brand we're gonna to change the color about our logo to white color the color is white save and then preview oh we need to important here like this okay it's cool so we have the enough bar transparent with the slider image in the background okay so thank you very much for watching this video and i'm so sorry because i got the mistake in this tutorial but let me know if you have any question about this tutorial and i will help you okay so don't forget to subscribe my channel on youtube and see you the next video tutorial